got broken stuff around your house, then I have the cure for you. It's Super Magic Blue Tape. Yes, Super Magic Blue Tape. What is it called? Super Magic Blue blue tape. Do you have broken things around your house? Do you have a broken pencil? Well, you can fix your broken pencil with super magic blue tape. You just open up the blue tape. If I can get it open, Yes, once you get it open, it's gonna work awesome. I guarantee it or your money back. You can buy Super Magic Blue Tape in easy installments of, well, we'll get to that later. All right, take some Super Magic Blue Tape and you tape your broken pencil together and boom, it's fixed. My pencil is fixed with Super Magic Blue Tape. Do you have a broken B maraca? Well, you can fix your broken B maraca with Super Magic Blue Tape. Yeah, you just take your B maraca and you wrap some Super Magic Blue Tape around it and you're shaking. You are shaking again. See, it is fixed. Do you have a hose that doesn't work anymore? Well, all you need is some super magic blue tape. And you get the tape off the roll in one easy fell swoop and you put it on the hose and then boom, you've got a fixed hose again. Do you have a broken battery? A battery that doesn't work? Well, you know what is gonna work for that? It is super magic blue tape is going to fix it. I'm gonna get some tape out of the roll and I have a battery that doesn't work anymore and you take some super magic blue tape and you put it all around the battery and it is fixed and good as new. Boom! Now, how much would you pay? for a roll of Super Magic Blue Tape. Would you pay $1, $2, $10, $12? No, my friends, in four easy installments of $9.99.99, you can buy a roll of Super Magic Blue Tape. Act today. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed my crazy infomercial. This is Pastor Matt with Northwoods Church, of course. Can you really fix stuff with super magic blue tape? I mean, my my pencil that really was broken, uh, is it really fixed with super magic blue tape? Well, no, it's still broken. It just kind of covers over the cracks and it, it just covers over something that's really is broken and stays broken. How could I fix this again to make it as good as new? Well, I could, use some duct tape or use some Gorilla Glue or I could use um, some other form of glue, some wood glue, but it never isn't going to make it as good as new again. You know, and, and we have the same problem, of course, that we are all broken. What does the Bible say about us as people? It says in Romans 3.23 that we are all broken. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the Bible goes on to say that we can't fix ourselves. And you know, if if I had a giant roll of super blue tape, I can't really fix myself. Now I can put tape on myself, but my heart is still broken. You see, it's not just the outside of me or my body that's broken, it's my heart. It's the inside of me that really is broken. I, As a sinner, I, I don't desire the things that God once for my life when God tells me to do something I don't do that and when he wants me to stay away from certain things you know I I don't do that either and so I can't fix myself and so I need a savior so have you ever been to the pool before I bet you have been to the pool somewhere but whenever you go to the beach or the pool or somewhere where you go swimming what is there always on the sidelines or the, the edge of the pool or on the beach somewhere. Yeah, on that tower, you're gonna have a lifeguard who's looking out and looking for people that are drowning and that lifeguard comes to rescue them, to pull them out. You know, sin means that we are drowning, that we are people who are dying because of our sin, that if we had our own way, that 
our past would just simply lead to death. And so we cannot save ourselves when we're drowning. We need somebody to come and to rescue us and to save us from when we're drowning. And so that's what Jesus does for us. Jesus is our lifeguard and he pulls us out of our sin and he not only fixes us, but makes us good as new again. See, Jesus is better than super magic blue tape. Jesus makes us new again. It says in scripture that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. See, Jesus does more than just fix us. He makes us good as new again. And that's something that we could never do for ourselves. So here's a couple of big points to remember. One, we have all sinned and the punishment for sin is death and separation from God. It says in Romans 6.23 that the wages of sin is death. The thing that we deserve because we sin is we deserve to die. And that's a horrible fate for us. And so we need somebody to rescue us from our sin. Point two, each of us needs a savior and we can never be good enough to save ourselves. So if you ever hear somebody say, I can fix myself or I can better myself or I can become a better me, you really can't do that. Christ needs to come into your life and to fix you. And point number three, only Jesus can be that savior because he is both God and human and he never sinned. Remember what we talked about the last couple weeks? Jesus is God. He calmed the storm. He calmed the waves. He healed people that couldn't walk. He made blind people see again. He made people that couldn't hear be able to listen again. Jesus over and over in the gospels demonstrates that he is God. And so if he really is God, then he has alone the power to rescue and save us. Here's our memory verse for the week. It is 1 Peter 2, 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on a tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. Isn't it great that we have a lifeguard, a rescuer, somebody that's going to pull us out of sin and rescue us? And I like the analogy that's used in that first Peter verse as well, that he is our healer. You know, sometimes we just need to go to the doctor when we're unwell or we're sick and our bodies are broken and a doctor is there to heal us and to make us well again. Jesus does the same thing for us. He is our great physician. He is our healer. He is the one that comes to fix not only our bodies, but our souls and to rescue us from sin and death. That's been our lesson today. We'll see you next time. Hi guys, welcome back. And uh, I hope that you could use some super blue tape this week when you do your challenges. Your challenge uh, for this week is what we've been telling people every single week. Do two sections per week in Sparks if you're a Sparky and then do one section per week if you're in TNT. Hey, and once you finish those lessons, make sure you get in contact with a volunteer from our church that you've been assigned to and they will go over lessons with you. We will have a reward for you by the end of the year. So make sure that you keep up with your activities in your book. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.